Okay, good evening, everyone. You should be able to hear me. If you can hear me, I definitely want to know what your favorite car is. Please tell me today what your favorite car is so that I know you guys are able to hear me. Let's see what we have here. Tesla. Oh. Lexus, a 66 Mustang, the one that is dependable, <laughs> not a car, but a truck. Oh, I'm in James Bosserman. We're in the same group there. 285,000 miles on my Ford F-150. And now I want a definite upgrade to the Ford 350. Okay. I'm going to ask a couple questions today, and I'm just doing it for your help and your understanding <coughs> of the stock market. So, how would I say this? If, let's get this the way we want it. Don't need an underline, mark it down to 16. If I was to ask you to complete the following sentence i want you guys to tell me how you would do it the stock market is and what would you tell me what would you tell me if i was going to have you finish that statement the stock market is <laughs> I'll give you more than one if you want to, but I'm going to love it. Unpredictable. Volatile. I wonder if you guys are going to get what I say. Still overvalued. What else do we have here? Hard. I like that one. Easy to lose money. Uh, another good one. Lose half of the value of a portfolio. Which is none of what I was thinking. But what else? What else if you could say that the stock market is, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now I'm going to go the one before. We have a flat, a royal pain in the, in the, <laughs> I agree with all of those. Two more just came in. Forecasting upcoming conditions. And it's funny, a poor or lagging indicator, indicator of current economic conditions. Uh, another couple good ones. Influenced by events, and I'm going to put it not necessarily affecting or can truly affect the markets. So it's funny, as you guys say all those, I agree with all of them. It's what makes the market so difficult, but I might also go so far as to say the terminology I would have used would have been fluid. Well, fluid. Fluid. Because it is ever changing. 
And I think that's important for us to understand. That is why, so I should say, that is why we call our trade or use protective puts. We use it because it's fluid. The market's ever changing. Ever changing where it's unpredictable, it's volatile, it's overvalued, sometimes it's undervalued. It's hard, it's easy to lose money, lose half your portfolio. A royal pain in the astronaut, right? Forecasting upward conditions is sometimes going to be or, or be a poor, a laggy indicator of current market conditions. Something that's not related to our market can affect our markets and cause a drop in our portfolios um, just almost immediately. It's funny because what you guys didn't mention, it also includes fear and greed. And I still think those are the two most common emotions associated with the stock market. I'm going to use fear. Fear is when I see all those educations that create all their bullshit numbers, all their bullshit returns, all their, well, we did it on paper without any real money. We had no emotion behind it. We can't do it again. We already saw what it did, so we back-tested. So because we back-tested, we knew the strategy to use. It's ridiculous. I think fear is what makes liars out of our, our stock market education that's out there. Every single one has basically had their presenters or their ownership be 100% full of crap. Greed. We somehow think we're going to pick tops of tops and bottoms or bottoms. There are times we're not okay with just making a profit. A profit is a profit is a profit. Whether it could have been bigger, it could have been smaller. If you're booking profits, you're not booking losses. And you're going to be in a great position. If you take a look, this chart I think was brought to me by Russ Kramer. Our easy years are the years where we have these big drops down, 20% down. The hard years are the three, are the seven, are the seven, are the six. 49, easy. 34, 30, 17. Let's just do the math for every dollar you had your dollar went from one dollar in 2000 this is the year i started right to 90 cents that 90 cents loses 13 percent i'm gonna go ahead and get my calculator out to do this that 90 loses 13 percent times 0.13 is 11.7 minus 90 cents. It now becomes 78.3. It then loses 23%. So that's minus 18, minus 18. It now comes down to 60 cents. 60.3 cents, right? For every dollar you had. We then gained 26. 
and we think, hey, we just made up for the last two years, right? Me and last three years. 60.3 times 1.26. It actually is only worth 93. I'm just going to round it up to 94 cents. Let's keep going. 94 cents times 1.09. It's a dollar two. Come we'll for that dollar two and forty six cents. What I should do is I should be typing this in here. This is going to be too ugly looking for me to do every single one. Give me a quick second. The dollar is now worth, and we'll just keep running it along, 90 cents. Zero point seven eight three zero point six zero three. In 2003, it gets back up to 94 cents. It gets back up to a dollar two. In 2004, add another three cents to it. It's a dollar. One oh five dollar five point five. It now goes up to fourteen percent. And someone's typing something in. Thank you. All right, now it goes up fourteen percent. Uh, hey, we got a dollar twenty point three. Now it goes up four percent. We now have a dollar twenty five point one. Then we have two thousand and eight, where it takes a thirty eight percent drop if you didn't get out right. So. 38 times 0.38 is 45.54 minus 125.1. In 2008, it's now only worth 77, 77 and a half cents. Eight years in the market, not counting fees. And every dollar he had in 2000 is only worth 77 and a half cents. Goes up uh, 23%. <laughs> Excuse me, 0 0.953. Then goes up 13%. We have it at uh, 95.3 times. One on three now gets to one oh seven point six zero percent return in two thousand eleven stays at one oh seven point six. Uh, we now go up thirteen percent in two thousand and twelve uh, times point one three. Ooh, we get another dollar twenty one point six. We get a 30 percenter times 1.3. Big the year, it's now worth a dollar, dollar 58.1 times 11 percent, 1.11. Boy, it might actually double. By five, we lose 1 percent. Dang it. 1.73. Eight. Uh, we gained 10% in 2016. 
times one. Ooh, we've almost doubled our money. Uh, we get a 19% in 2017. We've just doubled our money for the first time. We lose 6%. Dang it, 2.11, we're going to gain 29 and 16, 0.115, we're going to gain uh, 1.29, 2.75, and then for last year, we're going to do a times 1.16, which is a 3.166. So in 20 years, you've doubled your money twice. The average is you're supposed to double your money every 7.75 years. So it's it's interesting, right? So you are told the S&P 500 doubles on average every 7.75 years. Which means your $1 should have went to $2 at 2007. At 2015, it should have went to $4. And that $4 should have been up 1.8% From where we are right now, it should be worth seven dollars and two cents because those are averages, right? Kind of like this. What is the average S and P five hundred return since? $1.99. Total return on 20 year period is a 363% return. Over 20 years. This is the average annual return. That's where you usually get your 7.75%. Usually goes back to after World War II. Now they're saying it's up as 10%. Doesn't really tell you. Slightly below 10%. Wow, that's a new one. So let's go back to it. If you believe the slightly below 10%, wow, I mean, let's just take the dollar, right? A dollar times 1.1. Is 1.10, and just look how ridiculous these averages tell you that it's going to be. Times 1.1, all of a sudden it's 1.21, times 1.1, it's 1.33, times 1.1. 
is 1.46. One point one, one point six one, one point one, one point seven seven times one point one is one point nine four. So one, two, three, four, five, six years, you should have basically doubled it times one point one. 2.14, and here's where the numbers get really distorted. Times 1.1, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35
Could someone please explain to me what the hell is going on here? Kevin, it's in an IRA account. Agreed, but guess what? The fund still plays taxes. The fund still pays the fees for distributions. The fund still has a sale load attached to it or commission when it's sold. With all due respect, right here, simple as can be, I calculate with their numbers an 8.31% charge on a fund that clearly states it's only 0.14%. Where the heck are these fees at? Well, remember, this is just truly, that is truly just the condensed perspectives. It's not the big one. The real one falls under the Admiral Shares. Let me find the real one. Aha, uh -huh, we go to Vanguard. BTSA. Where's your real prospectus? Get the details on the funds, fees, and what have you. Where's the real prospectus here? Because the real one is like... Tons of pages long. Where is the real perspectives? Come on, Hurley. Find it. It's a blend. Where is the freaking prospectus? I know it's in here. Did I miss it? Did you guys see me miss it somewhere? Usually says, per, there it is, view prospectus and reports. So here is the real prospectus. The real one is like 70 pages. And when you start to go through this, you find out, well, it's a blend of different things. Here are the guys that manage this one. And it is shocking where you find out where all these other fees are and the risks you have involved with the fund. Here's your total. It's getting even cheaper. It's wonderful. Getting even cheaper. $4 in year one turns into 51. It gets 10 times the amount in 10 years, hypothetically speaking, right? And then you start looking. Portfolio turnover, how often they go through the rate of return. It's only 8%. But the fund pays the transaction costs, commissions, but turns over. 
these costs are not reflected in the annual fund operating expenses or the previous expense example. So 8% of fees are not being shown to you. 8% is not there. It's uh, it's really, it, it's amazing. As you start going through here, where it tells you what some of the risks are, stock market risks, index sampling risks, total returns, right? Trying to show you the funds indicate, where does it say that it's not gonna count the fees? Well, there you go, you got some right there. But there we go, there we have where we have the real returns. Actual tax return or tax to situation after taxes are calculated, state and local taxes. Uh, it really, it's in, it's pretty interesting as you start to see redemption fees that come in here. And as you go through here, purchase and sale of funds. You start to read about some of these fees. Not bad, total distribution, other expenses, it's supposed to be really low. Fund pays transfer costs, commissions, portfolio turnover, this one's only 3%. Kind of starts to go through some of these. But as you go through, you find out it's a blend of three or four different funds where they each have that 0.4%. And they each have fees each year that come into this. Um, I love the redemption. Where's the redemption that I'm trying to find? In growth index fund. Oh, rebalancing fees. So here we go. We start to get into some of the, the other stuff. You have rebalancing fees that it'll do on a regular schedule. It doesn't accept any, it doesn't have any warranty or accept any liability, but the quality, accuracy, or completeness of either the target index or the real returns. I mean, it just gets ridiculous. An index fund seeks to hold all representative sample of the securities that make up its target index. The index funds attempt to mirror the performance of the target index for better or worse. However, the index fund generally does not perform exactly like the target index. It usually does worse. For example, index funds have operating expenses and transition costs. Market indexes do not. So they'll have a slightly slight performance advantage over funds to track them. Uh, it starts to tell you as you go through here where there's so many other fees or risks involved with what they're doing and why. And it's just, it's all hidden, not in the eight pages you guys get, but in the 70 pages that describes where it's at. Funds use derivatives, pretty interesting right here, right? Funds use derivatives as swaps. A swap usually costs you 3.2%. Again, I could just go through here. I'm trying not to do it uh, too much, but I just, it bugs me. It bugs me, it bugs me, it bugs me to see the real returns and where they're at, where everything's being paid, the total returns that they have, 
what it really turnover fees, what real rates are involved in it. It bugs me because what's being presented to you on a nice, pretty slick is not real. It's not what really happens. It's not where your stuff gains. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Where I was going with it tonight is the markets are hard. That's why we're protecting when stocks have the, the most opportunity to be volatile. In fact, as I went through here and I found some stuff to share with you, I thought it was pretty, pretty interesting. Got to get that one out of there. Um, where's my seismic shift? Size. October is a seismic month. I think October will achieve itself, which is a very volatile month. October volatility is 36% higher than the average of the other 11 months of the year. Volatility is higher, and you have a great number of pullbacks, corrections, and bear markets to either start or end in the month. It is a seismic month. Both managers from Wells Shield warns that, in fact, many stocks have fallen below their turn day moving average as a negative for the market. Just 59 stocks on the New York Stock, 59% of the stocks in New York Stock Exchange remain above it or in an uptrend, which means 41% are in a downtrend. The rule is that when the 200 day, day number drops from 80% to below 60%, it usually goes to 30%. Now that we have 59% uh, of the stocks bullish, 40 or not, we're looking at seeing a, a switch where more often than not, right now, right where we're at, we're only 59% are still in an uptrend. This is what usually triggers that bear market. I like what we do because usually we start protecting the first or second week of October for the October slash November earnings events, which is how we try to make up some of this downward movement. We also capture profits from, from protection try to add shares and reprotect at the lower cost basis. Why would we do this? Why would we, before their earnings, why would we add our shares, reprotect the lower cost basis? Anyone know why do we do this? Any ideas? Any idea? There you go. Perfect. Because a Christmas rally usually occurs after the earnings period. You're exactly right. You are exactly right. Guys, this is why we do what we do. It's a little difficult when the market moves sideways, right? Well, Kevin, the market's up. It is up this year. So I'll go to say it's a little difficult when our stocks move sideways. I'm a little frustrated because Ford today was awful. Ford News. Um, 
They're going to plan to do $4.3 billion. They're going to spend more money for battery plants. They're going to invest $11.4 billion. They're going to build more factories, but more importantly, where was it? There we go. This is what we saw this morning. Ford recalls certain Mach E electric SUVs because their panoramic uh, moon roof could fly off the car. Tesla's kicking our butt. And by the way, electric vehicles remain beyond the reach of most average buyers. So that's why Ford goes up two and a half percent. It was a little ridiculous. Fluid, right? Not only that, Ford after hours. Extended hours, Ford is up 66 cents on the fact that they're going to spend all this money and create all these jobs. If they spend all this money and create all these jobs, does that increase, increase profitability? <laughs> nope. Not at all. Yet we have Ford up 2.76% today, 4.66% after the market closes today. Really interesting to see if it has it, if it'll have its follow through. Pretty interesting to see. All right, let's go through uh, the other stuff and have you guys ask any questions. Uh, big picture, do read through it more in Evergrande for you guys to understand. Market overview, first up week on the S&P in three, gained a half a percent. Uh, I don't have the pictures in here, so let's take a quick look at the pictures. And I will add those in here. Dow Jones Industrial Average. We are almost, almost up here. Come on. We're almost crossing over to the bullish side, but we're not. 50 day is acting as resistance. We almost have our crossovers. Technically, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is still bearish in its trend you could not as of this time say the dow jones industrial average is bullish in its trend it is not spx if we look at the spx we're getting exactly the same thing but it is a little different and that no we're not bullish on the RSI, we have spent three days above the 50 day. Still not bullish though on the MACD. And then if we look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ composite. Oh, come on. Yes, I'm using something for free. I don't want to pay for simple information. If we look at our NASDAQ, still not bullish, haven't crossed over the median line. We have four days over, but we're really fighting the center pivot point. Uh, 14,692, still far from crossing over down here. Technically, our NASDAQ is still bearish as well. Something to pay attention to. We will most likely see a little bit of a sell off on Thursday, in which case we're going to be okay with it because we'll usually have a buy in Saturday or Monday. Thursday is the end of the September quarter. We'll go through some rebalancing. Pretty impressive to see um, where we go from there. Economic reports durable goods, it was mixed. The durable goods was what worse than expected and the x transportation was better let me find out really quick i wrote it down 
durable goods. Durable goods was up 1.8, but the durable goods minus the transportation was only up 0 0.2 instead of 0 0.6. Mixed economic reports this morning. A Fed Chair Powell testifies to the Senate Tuesday, Wednesday. We have uh, China again. And not only that, but over the weekend, Merkel got voted out. Merkel will be leaving uh, the parliament as they set up a new chair, a new coalition over there in uh, Britain. All right. Uh, I've got huge amounts of information, more Evergrande information for you to read. Uh, more about the federal debt crisis management by recession, what's being said on the inside of the United States and China. Interesting article on Under Armour. This is where if you want to see why we believe in Under Armour, you want to work the numbers, amazing article that shows you where Under Armour can get to. Again, I think they heard me a couple of weeks ago when I ran all these numbers for you. Same thing on Boeing. Awesome article on Boeing. Explains how literally it can be back up to 400 uh, sometime in the middle of next year. Go through and read the article on Boeing to see what we're seeing when it comes to valuations and where Boeing can get to here in the near future. All right, what else do we have here? Um, interesting, impulsive, you quit your job, resignation, do these four things. I just found the article interesting for those that might be looking for other work. Pfizer CEO, as well as Moderna, predicts life to normal next year. Interesting to see if that happens. Um, a little bit of understanding the bond yield and tech shares and what happened to them in the last three weeks on the Dow. Stocks face another term of the week as the third quarter winds down just letting you know where we should end this week at and then my last one was well i guess that was the last one so with all this said to you any questions you guys have that i can try to answer as i'm going through expectations and some of the things that i hear that are being thrown out there to you guys any questions i can answer that can help you guys out Yes, uh, probably the middle of October, we'll look to do a migration to Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade. Actually, Schwab bought TD Ameritrade. So we'll be moving the migration over there using uh, one of those platforms to be managing your funds. But you'll hear more from us more in the middle of October as Hurley Investments gets onboarded onto the TD Ameritrade Charles Schwab platform. And yes, we're looking at picking up, a, kind of gives me kind of nice, picking up a $50 million client. They are coming over. And I'm still going to do the little things for you guys. <laughs> I still got to manage all my money with you guys. Still doing the same thing. Okay, I don't see other questions coming in. So, guys, I appreciate you being here today. Let's make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, yep. Guys, I appreciate you being here today. I hope this was helpful understanding some of the things that are being told to you or being said out there. Do go back to my Hurley investment, and I will get this posted since there's no trades up here. I should be able to get this posted tonight or tomorrow morning. Do read through these articles. These articles show you exactly what we've been talking about, exactly where the risk is. They're already calculated there for you for the opportunities. Do spend your time reading some of the information reread that justify the calculations we work on a pretty consistent basis. 
Guys, have a wonderful evening. I appreciate you guys being here. I look forward to seeing you next week, although next week I will be at a Raiders game Monday night. I'm going to be on Monday Night Football. We will have Keith taking over the Monday night commentary, and I'll grab the Thursday. So, guys, take care. Have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.